Welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Blake Wright, with Central Valley Charter Schools, and you are once again listening to Your Pace Podcast. I want to thank everybody for tuning in this year so far. We've already welcomed you all. We've had an awesome interview with our very own Dr. Yolanda Vasquez, and we've had four amazing spotlights on four of our incredible team members here at our school. So if you haven't had the chance to see any of them or all of them yet, I suggest going to check those videos out right after this one. Um, and or even just add them to uh, a nifty to-do list or something to watch later. Maybe maybe during lunchtime you just have it up on your phone and watch. You you don't want to miss it. Um, and so finally, before we get going with today's episode, I just want to remind you that if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to our school's channel. It's you'll find the button right down below, um, and it's. It's super easy, you just click it, boom, you're subscribed, and it helps you stay up to date with everything the school puts out on the YouTube channel. So if you're subscribed and and then you go to YouTube, boom, it pops up, easy. Um, Our newest videos will be up there right away. And then you go through the channel, you can find all of our stuff that we've posted there. All right, awesome. So, every year in our Pace podcast, Um, here in our studios we like to bring you guys some helpful tips some tricks and or maybe food for thought types of videos in some of our episodes right so today I want to talk to everybody about interests Um, so what about interests you might ask right interests are well things that interest you right Um, so Maybe it's something you enjoy doing or something that literally just interests you. So for example, let's say for me, I like to watch or even play football. Um, I like to play video games uh, and I like to do yard work. Okay, so there's some three interests right there, all true things. Um, And all of them are interests to me. I'm interested in doing all of those things. These can also look like Um, interests can look like hobbies activities or even as specific as like genres of music or uh, types of books uh, you know fantasy nonfiction things like that Um, and so what I want to explore with you all is why it might be important to delve a little deeper into these interests and why that might be beneficial to you So let's take a moment and think about a few interests you might have off the top of your head. And if you want, you can go ahead and share that down um, in the comments. We can kind of see, maybe you can find somebody else who's interested in something you are and we can start like a conversation, which would be cool. Um, So go ahead and think about that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use those three that I just mentioned. So football, video games, and yard work, right? Um, What makes me drawn to these three different interests. So I'm gonna put those kind of up on the screen, one of the things that, um, a couple of the things that draw me to these things. So let's start with football. I enjoy the teamwork aspect of it. I love that everybody works as a team. um, And I love that the strategy, so the strategy that's used on every play, I like that every, every play is practiced and has a purpose for every different part in the game. You know, it's very nuanced. Um, And then uh, additionally, it's really, I just find it really personally entertaining um, to watch. So it's, it's just fun for me. And so I now realize that might not be the case for everybody, right? But that's okay, because this is about me and my interests, right? (laughs) For football. Um, And, you know, maybe learning something new about myself here. So um, not everybody has to be interested in the same things, and that's okay. Um, So keeping the whys in mind. So those those things I said, why I like football. Keeping those in mind, we'll move to the second interest I mentioned, which was video games. 
I like these because it helps me de-stress. You know, if I have a really rough day or maybe I just have a lot going on, sometimes it's nice to just take like a little bit of time and just kind of sit down and relax and play some games. Um, I primarily like to play with friends. So I like to have um, friends. I like teamwork oriented games um, where I can play with my buddies as a team. Um, and then I also love that it just keeps me entertained as well. You know, um, I'm, in, I'm engaged, uh, entertained and engaged. Uh, that second part is really important to me too because I really like games where I have to think, where I have to use my brain when I'm doing them. You know, the more I'm thinking, the more I'm active in it, the more I get to kind of immerse myself in there. Um, all right, and then for my third one, I said yard work. Very different than the first two, right? But this also helps me de-stress. Uh, I find it very satisfying to be out taking care of my house in my yard. Uh, I get to work with my hands and visually see all the progress and satisfaction of all of my hard work once I'm done. And as a bonus, I get to be outside. You know, during the summertime when it's like in the hundreds, it's a little rough, but you know, it's not too bad. It's still really nice to get out there, get some sunshine um, and get in, be in the yard and kind of get that stuff done, okay? So, obviously, these three things that I've mentioned are very different from each other, right? Um, especially when you think of them in like a more generalized, big picture view. Right, we're looking at them as just their names, right? Just football and video games, it's totally different. Yard work and football, it's like we're doing totally different things here, right? But if we're gonna zoom in, like we're on, a, an, on our iPhones or our Samsung phones, we're gonna pinch and zoom in real close and we're gonna look at the reasons why we like them we can start to see some overlap. You know, um, I've got them listed up here. You might start to see some similarities there. So let's start with football again. I like the teamwork and the strategy aspect of it. And in video games, I also like playing with friends, like I mentioned with teamwork style games. And I like the games that make me think. So in both, I'm working as a team and I'm using my brain. I'm thinking, maybe thinking outside the box. Kind of similar, right? All of a sudden, those things, those two things kind of start to, to seem the same. Um, moving on, yard work helps me de-stress, um, just like video games do. And both of these, I can use my hands and usually see the results of my work immediately. Um, so by breaking down our interests, we can start to see some overlap between them, right? Which is pretty cool. So this is where things get really interesting and can even start to help us with, can you guess where I'm going with this? Our careers and jobs. So yeah, that's right. So things I like can help me find a job um, or at least help me figure out what kind of job I might enjoy um, or even be pretty good at already. So. Just judging by the quick insight of those three interests I gave, I can assume that I would like a job that allows me to think, maybe even outside the box at some times, work in a team environment or closely with other people, um, and one where I can see the results of the work that I do. And hey, guess what? I have a job that allows me to do all three of those things right now. And in the past, I've looked for jobs that are similar. Pretty sweet, right? So that's something to keep in mind whenever we think about our future or any career opportunities. Um, or even as far as clubs and activities. You want to try something new? Maybe start with something with, that you're interested in and find similar characteristics between them and you can find a new club or activity that shares similar things. Like, okay, I already know I like these things. So let's go one further, you know, and try try something new, but it's, it's still kind of comfortable for me, right? So as far as the job search goes, whether we're early on in school and we're just starting to think what I want to do down the road, um, these trying to get a decent idea of what maybe our future might look like kind of scary but if we have things that we know we like 
and reasons why we like them, that can help kind of calm like, okay, I can look at different careers, you know, thinking about uh, teamwork environments and maybe uh, working with my hands. Uh, construction it could be something as uh, something like that construction work or like landscaping in a small team or maybe it could go even as far as being a doctor you see how it goes there's a broad spectrum so you're never gonna be pigeonholed into one or two things you're gonna have a wide view of all these opportunities that fit different characteristics so just like our interests can be really different but have similarities so can jobs and so that kind of helps broaden our search and keep an open mind when we're looking like this actually might work for me because of these reasons and so maybe we're actively searching for that first job and we just need to get something that would be fun and that is similar to some of our interests or maybe we're in between jobs um, or you know looking for another one regardless it's always a good idea to have your interests in mind so you can help yourself find a job that's hopefully fulfilling, but at the very least one that you enjoy a lot of the aspects about, right? So that's kind of our biggest thing is just why, while we're going through and while you guys have been going through your mind thinking about, you know, maybe three and things that interest you and why, Maybe you can kind of take those little examples and think about, okay, what kind of jobs would also be similar? You know, um, video games doesn't necessarily pigeonhole you into GameStop or video game tester, but different aspects of why you like games could help you find jobs that have similar, um, work your brain in similar ways. So anyways, Please, if you have any questions or anything or insight, or you just want to share some of your interests with your fellow viewers, share them down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, do any of you guys like share any of those interests with me? And think about how many these interests might help you in the next job search you do or helping somebody else find a job for themselves. Maybe share with somebody. In fact, speaking of, if you know somebody who is looking for a job and needs a little help, share this video. Give, maybe it'll help give them an idea and they'll be like, get them thinking, get them the ball rolling for them. Okay. But also, it's so great to have everybody here for our first uh, tip trick video of the year. Um, and I am just overjoyed to be here again with you guys. I love being here. Happy October, everybody. And thank you for listening to your Transition Pace podcast. And we'll catch you in the next one. All right.